Okay, so here are a couple more definitions that you will run across in your web development adventures. Um, the reason why I'm going through these definitions is because knowing what they mean will help prevent confusion if you ever come across them. They're sort of uh, basic uh, knowledge that you should be aware of. So the first one is network. A network is a bunch of computers connected together to share resources. Those resources could be data, um, printers, etc. The internet, for example, is a giant network. A subnet is a smaller network that is connected to a bigger network. A client, in computing terms, is the receiver of information, and a server, uh, in computing terms, is the giver of information or resources. So, for example, if you had a computer that stored files for an entire business and people accessed that computer in order to retrieve their file information, that would be considered a server because it serves stuff. A database, which is pretty commonly used if you're not aware of it um, already, is something used to store and persist data. For example, your computer's file system is an example of a database. If you've ever used Excel, an Excel worksheet is an example of a database. And even books, because they contain information, are examples of a database. But in technical terms, whenever you hear the word database, they're referring to digital databases, which means information that is stored on a computer in digital form. And finally, the last definition uh, that we'll go across is the internet. The internet's also called the World Wide Web for a reason because in the beginning it was a bunch of wires connected together in the form of a web. And notice the net in internet. The net stands for network. The places where the wires intersected represented waypoints for relaying packets to their appropriate destination. So now that must have been eye-opener if you weren't aware of it already. 